When I was 15 years old, I was briefly stranded at sea. Um, my uncle was a marine biologist, and during the summer months, he would take me out on his ship to study the migration patterns of Auxus tuna. And one night, when I was about 15, we happened to sail directly into the middle of Tropical Storm Anna, and we were hit hard. Um, when I woke up, I was on a small life raft floating somewhere in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean, and I was entirely alone. And, and I was so petrified with fear that I could barely move. For the first hour or so, all I could do was just stare up at the stars and, and wish I was anywhere else. Um, after what must have been an hour, I heard a noise and I jumped up to see what it was, thinking it was maybe a rescue ship or my uncle, but I, I, I didn't see anything. Just darkness. I, I heard the sound again and I looked out into the water and in the distance I could just make out the crescent white tipped tail of a blue whale. It was swimming in these large circles and spouting water and making these low harmonious groans almost as it was talking to itself. And for a minute I forgot about the predicament I was in. It was so beautiful. Um, after a minute, the whale began to swim directly in the direction that I immediately realized was myself. And as it was gaining this tremendous speed, going closer and closer to me, I began to shakily strap on my life vest, fearing for the worst that the whale could potentially capsize my small vessel, or when the whale stopped, just maybe a foot from my boat. And it raised its gigantic head out of the water and looked me directly in the eyes. And in that moment, I felt like I was staring at an ancient god. And I parted my lips and I dared to offer it a single word. Hello. I said, almost whispering, and the whale must have somehow understood what I was saying and that I was talking to it because it started to open its great mouth and offered back. Hey bro, I got a quick fucking question then I'll be on my way. I'm trying to draft my fantasy football team right now and I can't decide if I should go with Odell Beckham Jr. or Saquon Barkley for my first round picks. Listen, my buddy Demetrius already snagged Manning, so uh, fuck me, am I right? And even though he sucked big dicks in the playoff, I can't just bend over, spread my ass cheeks, and give up. I mean, I got $650 riding on this game. I can't go into this season with a puss team. What do I do? I was speechless. The whale was clearly Italian-American and was without a doubt the biggest New York Giants fan I'd ever met in my entire life. I didn't want to say the wrong thing, especially since he had so much money riding on the season, so I took a deep, calculated breath and offered back. Look, my guy, you can't go wrong either way. I mean, Odell's right arm was practically Swiss made, and you know what they say about Barkley. Ah, oh, do no wrong, Saquon. Exactly, but if you really want to know what I think... And I fucking do. It seems like you're trying to go with the Giants' QB, right? And I'd say without a single fucking doubt that you should pick Phil Sim. I mean, we don't need nobody when you got Phil Sim. I mean, he is a literal living fucking legend, and no one would see it coming. Fuck my big blue cock, said the whale, quietly. To himself. Bro, you just saved my fucking ass. If this works out, I'll Venmo you 50 fucking dollars. I promise, I promise on my mother's goddamn life. What's your fucking Venmo handle? At Julian MSB, I said. <laughs> yeah, ye. Said the whale. And then he was gone. He just left a spout of water and the smell of Bud Light in the air, and again, I was alone. I think about the whale to this day and his fantasy football team. I never was Venmoed that 50 bucks, which makes me think he lost, but I also wouldn't put a past the guy to totally flake on a money deal. Plus, I, I didn't get any of his socials, so following up was completely out of the question. I wouldn't have even if I could. I was too busy mourning the death of my uncle. I guess the moral is, help people because you want to, not because you want anything in return. That's my story. Thank you.